Hello everybody, so today I'm going to show you how to re-season a bacon steel. Um, I bought this one about six months ago and you can see it's lost a lot of seasoning. So I'm just going to take you through what I've done so far and, and then what I'm going to do um, and we'll see if we can get it back to a good working condition. So I've already um, scraped off what I can, uh, the thick of the thick of it, the bits that were lifting, and then I've soaked it in uh, white vinegar um, for about half an hour, so 30 minutes type of thing. So it's it's helped lift off um, some of the loose season underneath. Um, the next bit, I'm just going to put it in the sink. Um, I use a, a chainmail cloth for the other griddles, so I'm going to use that just with a scarlet on the back of it, just to smooth it off. Um, and then we'll move on to the next stage. Okay, so there's a couple of ways you can do this. You can do it on the hob. Um, you need to put some oil on the top, just to rub it in, and then heat it on the hob gently um, until it starts to change color. Um, or you can put a layer of oil and then put it in the oven, and heat it in the oven. I'm gonna do this three or four times. So I think what I'll do, I'll, I'll do a bit of both. We'll do two quarts on top of the oven, um, on the hob, and then we'll do two quarts inside, and we'll see how it... Okay, so I decided, because my steel was starting to warp, um, to do this in the oven. So, I've put a quart on there already, and I'm just going to bake it in the oven. I'm going to do this four times, and then we'll see what we get. Okay, so, um, I've given the steel about six quarts now, uh, it's in the oven. Just to give you a look, it's very hot, so I'm using my barbecue gloves. There you go, re seasoned beautifully. And my gloves are burning. Um, there's various steels you can buy. Um, the, the official one, the main one, is from a, a guy called Andres Lagsden. Um, he invented and patented the, uh, the bacon steel. And it all comes down to budget uh, at the end of the day. I was very skeptical at the time. Um, I used to use um, bait and stones. I've had this one for about six months. And I've got to say I use this um, probably 90% of the time, opposed to my bait and stones. So check Andres out. Um, like I say, if it's within your budget, buy one of his, go in your oven, and I'm sure you'll get some amazing results. I think he also does um, reconditioned as well, so check them out. And if it's not within your budget, have a look and, and order something yourself. Um, for me, like I said, I bought it because I was sceptical, the one I bought, and it wasn't from Andres, um, but I would certainly recommend him. He's a top guy and he's very passionate about what he does.